Welcome to the judging of the Terrier Group on Super Saturday at Crufts. These are the dogs originally bred for hunting vermin and they're a really hardy collection of dogs you see a lot of toughness and bravery which they need to pursue the foxes badgers rats otters both above and below ground so here are our best of breeds starting with the airedale terrier now please put your hands together for the australian terrier followed in by the australian terrier developed from native british breeds later taken to australia and here we have the Bedlington Terrier. This is a really distinctive breed, isn't it? The Bedlington Terrier, like a little lamb. Followed by the Border Terrier. The otter-like head of the Border Terrier best of breed now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our best of breed Bull Terrier. Well, the modern bull terrier descended from a cross between the bulldog and the white English terrier. It was originally bred for dog fighting. Very keen to be in the ring. And the miniature bull terrier. Followed in by the miniature version. This is the miniature bull terrier. Our best of breed cairn terrier is next into the ring. The cairn terrier is one of the native Scottish breeds. Very eager look about him. The national dog of the Czech Republic, this is the Chesky Terrier. The Dandy Dinmont Terrier, that's the breed. Well, this breed developed in the border counties and Scotland, distinctive top knot on the head. Wonderful breed. And now the Smooth Fox Terrier. The first of our two Fox Terriers, this is the Smooth variety. Wirefox Terrier, three-time Best in Show winner throughout the history of Crufts, this breed. Now we have our Best of Breed, Glen of Amal Terrier. One of the native Irish breeds, this the Glen of Amal Terrier. And here we have our Irish Terrier, Best of Breed. The Irish Terrier, distinctive bright red coat there bright look in the eye as well. Now we have our Jack Russell Terrier. Always a huge cheer for the Jack Russell Terrier, only officially recognised as a breed in 2016. And now our Kerry Blue Terrier. Kerry Blue Terrier had such a glamorous coat, a very eager trot as well. One best in show as recently as the year 2000. This is our best of breed Lakeland Terrier. Our next best of breed is the Lakeland Terrier. Followed by the best of breed Manchester Terrier. Big cheer for the Manchester Terrier coming in. This is a, a number of Terriers that are on the vulnerable breed list. We'll talk about and a little bit more as we go on. Terrier. The first of two very similar uh, Terriers coming into the ring now. The drop ear is what separates them Followed out. This one is the, the Norfolk. Norfolk. And there's the prick ears of the Norwich Terrier. Basically the same dog, and here different is our ears. Parson Russell Terrier. Next in, the Parson Russell Terrier, best of breed. And our best of breed, Scottish Terrier. Scottish Terrier. A Scottish Terrier won best in show in 2015. That was the first time since 1929 to one Cruft. Now we have the Celium Terrier. Next of our Welsh breeds, this one, the Celium Terrier. Another on the vulnerable list. This one, the longest dog in the group. A wonderful coat as well. And here we have the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Beautiful, silky coat of the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Now, our best of breed, Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Note the collar. The leather collar is the only breed that's shown in a collar, and there are 349 the crufts are this year. Our next best of breed, the Welsh Terrier, smart and workmanlike. And 
And finally, ladies and gentlemen, our West Highland White Terrier. And the West Highland White Terrier, three times a winner, best in show last time, now 2016. Is when a West Highland White Terrier won. So all our dogs Welcome in the arena, our judge for this Terrier group is David Guy. And all these dogs are workers. All bred to work above and below ground. And so, Laura, that'll be what the judge is looking for, comparing against the breed standard. And are these dogs healthy and fit for function? So once you get to the group, we know that the, the breed judges have felt they meet the breed standard well. So our judge, David, here, a very experienced judge, he's going to be looking for that je ne sais quoi, that extra thing that makes the group winner that could go on to win best in show. And as you said, many of the terrier breeds are unfortunately on the vulnerable um, Irish and British native breeds list, meaning there's less than 300 puppies registered a year. And it's simply be because they were bred for a purpose that no longer exists, and unfortunately, they then fell out of fashion. There's all sorts of reasons, aren't there, that dogs do come in and out of fashion. The dandy Dinmont Terrier, some because there perhaps might be a, a, a royal connection. Sometimes popular culture, perhaps starring in a television show. From the tallest Airedale. Definitely, and many of these breeds are actually hand-stripped, which is a real skill in itself. So there's actually only one breed in here that should be clipped with clippers. So it is hard to upkeep them. They shouldn't be taken on lightly. Describe the hand-stripping for those who might not be au fait with their dog grooming. So, um, although it might sound very uh, harsh, it isn't. The, the hairs are pulled out. Um, it's painless to the dog, rather than using a pair of an electronic clippers. So it does mean that some of these dogs are maybe more high maintenance than those who have a very short coat. Also, very active dogs can be very noisy dogs, terriers as well. They like to let you know that they're here. The smaller terriers used for hunting vermin around the nooks and crannies of industrial. There's a huge diversity, really, in the, the, middle size, the size, the, the shape of the legs, terrier and the coat as well. The Seeing a real array of them, missing every single breed here. It's quite wonderful to sight. Loads of the ground dogs. So we'll get a close look at each of the best of breeds here in the Terrier group. So let's move on to our first dog. It is the Airedale Terrier. Our judge today was Stuart Plain, and his best of breed was a dog number eight. The king of the Terriers. Here we have the best of breed Airedale. There were 71 of them here today, and this one just 22 months old called Herbie. Breeds originated in Yorkshire, where it was originally known as the Waterside Terrier because it worked on riverbanks. Even though we refer to the air it's also worked as the with the army as a tracking dog, a messenger dog, and a pack dog with the Red Cross as well. And and Welsh On the move, the judges and will be looking for a straight and level back. For long, powerful thighs, and his legs should carry straight British forward and moving freely. We talked about coat, it should be harsh, dense, and wiry, and this one actually became a champion today. It says on the notes that our fellow commentator, Frank Kane, judged him as a puppy and said that he had lots of potential, so living up to it today. Outgoing, courageous, and above all, intelligent, Ladies and gentlemen, the best of breed Airedale character area number 8940. And the breed we now see on the table is the Australian Terrier. Judged today by Paula Meacham. Best of breed was this dog number 9014 from an entry of 22 Australian Terriers. They were introduced as a breed into the UK. Well, we're immediately area. seeing the contrast in sizes, aren't we, between some and of the best of breeds in this terrier group because this is the Australian terrier. Australia. And the thoughts have been developed they from native British from terriers that were taken British to Australia by settlers back in the 19th century. Yorkshire, you see that really distinctive ruff around the neck. They were used to keep down vermin, as you said, after being taken to Australia. And they should have a really free, springy, forceful movement, which we're seeing there. You can see those ears up, just so alert, tail carried upright. Another that should have a really harsh, dense top coat. These are durable, hardy little dogs. 
And whilst it is essentially a working okay, terrier, terrier, they do actually make really good companion dogs as well because they have a really nice even disposition and very loyal dogs as well. It is one of the longer of the terrier breeds. Two, wedge-shaped head and pricked ears are a particular feature. It's fast to go around again. Should have a springy gait yet quite forceful as well. On the the linty coat, now, distinctive the arched back terrier. and long Just head with a lamb-like experience. Well. This could only be the Bedlington Terrier. They were excellent dispatchers of vermin and have origins that believe to include the Bull Terrier, the Otter Hound and the Dandy Dinmont. It's a graceful, lithe dog with no weakness or coarseness. And in the 19th century, always that tassel of hair at the end of the, the years of to protect the them from the rats and other vermin when they are working. Who they with local dogs, and we'll whippets. see the distinctive action when it as moves as well. Hunters, yeah, as, as she moves off, you'll see lift the feet lightly at the front, small steps compared to some of the other breeds we'll see. Like it's described as a, a mincing action, very springy. In this one's just 20 months old. Bellington, Actually, she was winning breed, Best Puppy at Crufts this time last year, so massive be, step up to be here uh, in Best of Breed this year. Held separate classification for Despite that small, springy step, later in this breed can actually gallop at pretty good speed. There were <laughs> they look the lamb-like, but they are show. not in, <laughs> in their personality. <laughs> Our Best of Breed Bedlington there. Their coat is described as linty and is distinct and trimmed to maintain the smart and streamlined appearance. And they are fast the Border Terrier is a highly adaptable terrier. This one's a real worker and it is still popular in the country as well as in the city as a family dog. And when you see it move, it Border still needs to have that ability to follow a horse. Field. So judge will be looking for real Best soundness of movement for that. Nine, this one is a three and a half year old dog called Boots, who we actually like saw in the special anniversary, 150th anniversary, 150th anniversary of the Kennel Club stakes that happened on, tonight, was it Thursday? Gosh, the day's emerging into one. <laughs> Essentially a working terrier, says Nicknamed Boots because he certainly likes to walk. He does. Again, we're looking here for that really dense, harsh coat, the otter-like expression, and you should be able to put your hands around the ribs of a border terrier, which would um, indicate that it could fit down some holes to follow after vermin. Makes perfect sense. That coat is harsh and dense with a thick undercoat. And the judge will also be looking to see that tail carriage. That tail should be carried high, as we're seeing there. And the Crockettdale terrier. Boots is three and a half years old. This breed is built to be small enough to follow a fox down the narrowest hole, but with enough length of leg Sending to him keep around up again. with riders on horseback. Really and sound move for this one. Uncomplicated and genuine hardy little terrier. Best of breed border, 9175. The heavyweight of the group, this is the Bull Number Terrier, one, two, a three-year-old dog called Duke from North John Yorkshire. Young. They were unfortunately bred as fighting dogs originally in 19th century Number Birmingham. Nine, three, they should nine, be strongly six. built, muscular, Bull keen Terrier and determined, and that egg-shaped head is a real distinctive feature of the breed. One of the few breeds that has been truly constructed, mainly by James Hinks, who tried to produce an all-white bull and terrier You are dog. standing solidly on those the bull dog, four legs, the now which the judge will be looking for as well. They should be perfectly parallel. Looking now, he gets on the move. You can see a good bit of I think yeah. Yeah, the occasion is, uh, is <laughs> getting to Duke here, three-year-old bull terrier. You can see the, the real dog. muscle there, the, the power of this dog. The coat is short and flat and should have a fine gloss to it. In fact, a lot of the earlier bull terriers were white, Brindle, but Brindle, a deafness Brindle, developed Brindle. in the breed in the 20s, and so coloured breeds then became more common. In the 1930s, really good example of breeders working to eradicate problems. The breed, so much so that at their first entry, a staggering figure of 223. Ladies and gentlemen, your best of breed. A two-year-old miniature bull terrier here. It was first recognised as a breed in 1943. Like the miniaturisation was developed this through breeding the very version. smallest the of the bull terriers. Of the judge will still be looking to see some substance and soundness, and same as the bull terrier, but in a smaller frame. 
dog. Yeah, they were separated from the Bull Terrier in 1943. And despite the origins, this one apparently is the kindest dog in the world and the best pet that sleeps on the bed. So, <laughs> hailing from Poland, this one, called Jerry. With the exception of height. Pretty excited to be in the arena as well, is Jerry. They should be full of spirit. You want that fun loving attitude. This isn't your cookie cutter show dog. This is a dog with personality. And still that distinctive egg shaped head. And the coat should be short and flat and somewhat harsh to the touch, but a very fine gloss to it. Judge will be looking for a muscular neck and shouldn't be anything in the way of loose skin. Ladies and gentlemen, the best of breed miniature bull terrier, 9498. All the way from Canada, we have our best of breed Cairn Terrier. Now, this is a breed that's remained remarkably unchanged for centuries. It's native of Scotland and takes its name from Cairn's small, rocky outcrops. You can see there the judge just feeling that weather resistant coat. It's really, really important because it would have worked out in all conditions. Also lived on the Isle of Harris and also on the mainland. So now Once we get moving here, the judge will be looking for a free flowing stride and those four legs reaching well forward, shaking off <laughs> first. Get ready to go, and off we are. Now, this portion from the hind legs. This one has such a roster American, Canadian, Swedish, Norwegian, Norwegian and Danish champion. So we are looking at a big winner here. And you can see there in that reach, the movement, the way that he's carrying himself. He knows he's good. Very popular in the 1930s. Danny, three years of age. of choice for Wallace, Mrs. Simpson, and the Duke of Windsor. These are really workmanlike dogs, you can see that. It's a beautiful example rivaled the Scotty and almost trebled the West Highland White Terrier. Ladies and gentlemen, the best of breed Cairn Terrier, number 9590. And now our judge, David Guy, turns his attention. The Chesky Terrier is the national dog terrier. of the Czech Republic. Uh, it was only today, developed in the, the late 1940s, so Evans. it makes it a relatively breed new breed and then recognized by the Kennel Club in 1990. Very mild-mannered dog, but again, being fit for function, it should still be capable of seeing off vermin. So we talked about coat earlier. This is the breed that's allowed to be clipped. So you can see the really short hair on the back with the feathering underneath, which would have offered protection. And if we look at the top line as the dog moves off, you can see that it rises slightly over the loin. That's the, the back end. It's a key part of the breed standard. And the tail is carried down as well. That is also a feature of this particular breed, the Chesky. And this one, despite being five years of age, this is her first challenge certificate today. So it just shows sometimes it's worth waiting and persevering. Best things come to those who wait. Okay. And the black, grey or silver coat displays a wonderful finish. That's the best of breed, Chesky Terrier, number 9626. On the table now, we the have only the breed here with permission to wear a Scottish clan tartan. Here we have the Dandy Dinmont best of breed. There were 60 of them here today. And you can see the distinctive features without me even mentioning them. We've got the weasel-like body, the curved top line. We're just getting a view there of that silky top knot. And when we have a look at the front, really big, expressive eyes. This terrier descends from one of the local and the ears have terrier varieties. They're somewhat tassely, aren't they? Not Hills, dissimilar to we saw with the Bedlington. They should hang close to the batters. cheeks. A a very affectionate and dignified animal. It's said to be very independent and highly and intelligent as well. And we'll see that the tail should be carried like a scimitar, a curved sword. The the there's two accepted colours. This one, pepper, burger. there's also mustard. And the coat the actually feels hard. Underneath, it's a double coat, so there's like a soft, linty layer underneath. And the top knot, obviously, nice and silky. There are two colours. This is Pasha, who's three years old. A spoiled princess, apparently. <laughs> well, deservedly so if you've made made it uh, best of breed at Crufts. For a small dog, it has an amazing. We're looking for a strong, straight, voice. free movement there. Its courage is tremendous, and its wonderful, soulful expression can easily melt your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, the best of breed, Dandy Dimont 9665.
Now on the table, we see the smooth the fox oldest terrier. of the fox Judge terrier breeds today, is the Pindle. smooth fox terrier. Minimal grooming compared to many of the other terriers in this group, and the feature really is that long head and, and the short back. Years ago, the smooth fox As you said, the back should be short and the level, or the legs should be straight from any angle, and the skull should be flat and moderately narrow. This one from Croatia, four-year-old dog called Hemingway, described year, as a happy little clown. Four years later, in 1880. Well, the early smooth fox terriers were used for fox hunting, but were usually terriers. brown or black, He's which actually made them not not very expression. easy to distinguish the from the fox itself. So the old English white terrier was introduced, along with bull terrier and beagle, and that's produced what we see now as the predominantly white breeds. They're known to be good little workers. They're able to deal with small they should be free stride, striding and the legs should be carried parallel. We can see that they're reaching out badger, straight in front no and behind. Or hesitation. And the fox terriers were first shown in London, figures, Islington, back in 1862. But also for digging in the garden. Over 11 years so later, the Birmingham Dog Show had over 250 gardener. entries. These hardy little terriers first are breed standard was drawn up in 1876. And make super family pets. This is the best of breed smooth fox terrier, number 9745. This three-year-old bitch is Blanca from Croatia, our best of breed in the wire fox terrier. So really similar outline to the smooth that we just saw, but with this dense, really wiry coat. Again, white is the predominant color. Should have a short, level back, dark, fiery eyes, which we're looking up at there. <laughs> and confirmation should show perfect balance. It's our new camera for Channel 4 for this year. Getting right into the thick of the action. We're getting some great angles here, aren't we? And was hugely popular in Wales, those feet you can see round and compact. And, and those pads, white colour, tough and well cushioned. The early I love the description that should be always on the tiptoe of expectation, and you'll see this. The dogs from the box when Look at that, ready to go. Originally Tremendous style and great character. Area. An equally good movement should be the same as for the smooth, so we're looking for parallel for movement, legs moving straight forward, and we drive from the rear there. And, and the wire-haired fox terrier, three times area. best in the show the winner at Crufts, 1962, 1975, and 1978. They're racy, they're small package, but they're racy terrier. You can see how they catch the eye of the judge at group level. The breed is fearless. This is on the vulnerable we'll breed list as well. Sadly, numbers are quite low, not as popular now as it used to be. Less than 300 puppies registered in the last year. The Glen of Amal Terrier Glen has its roots as a badger hunter. It's a native Mr. Irish Pye. breed and it got its Best name because it hunted in the Glen of County Wicklow. And this breed uh, has a tendency to be fearless and tenacious, and a key feature is slightly bowed front legs, which is said to help them drag up badgers from the set. Yeah, in most breeds, bowed legs are a bad thing. In this breed, absolutely fine. So we're looking for a really good width of head with powerful foreface. The coat is medium length, but should feel harsh again. If we move off, you can see good drive from behind. He's holding the top line, which has a slight rise spirit. in it towards the loin. Still thought of as a working dog. It should show he great substance for the size of the dog and cover ground quite freely. It's pretty relaxed out there on the carpet. And you can get these in blue and brindle. Sometimes see the Glen of Amal Terrier as well. Yeah, this one's a Wheaton. This is five and a half year old female called Karma. And now makes an ideal companion. That's the best of breed Glen of Amal Terrier 9840. Now move on to the Irish a wonderful terrier. red Our coat of the Irish Terrier has given it a reputation as the daredevil Natural of the group. This was the first of the Natish Irish Terriers to receive official recognition, and it should be racier and more streamlined than many of the other Terriers with a wiry look. It was recognised as a pedigree in 1879, and they do enjoy human company. They're a pretty good-tempered breed, although I do read that they're not always so keen on other dogs. 
Lord I think that's fair of most terriers, to be honest. <laughs> they did used to come in various colours, but the selective breeding helped to narrow it down, so now it's all red today. And fox facing, plus their good water dogs too. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, a mixed coat Dublin when it was first shown in 1870. In the Black and tan, grey and brindle. Two groups. And then it was one a bright red bitch called Poppy pounds, who was largely responsible for that colour becoming a, an identifying feature because all of her puppies were red and that was the selective breeding that you're talking about ensured that this beautiful, uh, rich colour then became the standard. This one is a two and a half year old dog called Dante who's she over from Germany to compete today. The Irish Terror is a very useful worker and during both world wars were successfully used as messenger dogs by both the Lovely English expression and the Germans. On that one. Our best of breed, Irish Terrier, 9912. And welcome to the relatively recent addition to the Terrier. Well, only recognised by the Kennel Club in 2016 as the Jack Russell there Terrier. Has its roots in the working terriers of the British Isles that were taken to, a, taken to Australia by early settlers and expats. Lots travelled down under in the 60s and 70s. There are 134 of them here at Crufts today. It's really interesting, actually. This is becoming so much more popular as a show dog. This time last year, only 60 entered, so more than double the entry here this year. Winning a puppy group four. They should be slightly longer than high, with a level back and an oval chest. The neck is strong to carry the head and protect it when it's working below the ground. Should look lively and active as well. Definitely a lively look about Gatsby, who's three years old. And he is top Jack Russell in the UK last year. Jack Russell is a small under 12 inch flat skull, tapering to a strong muzzle. And despite its size, we can see there really free movement covering the ground while with the a tail held high, broken, really rough. alert. But most importantly, must be weatherproof. They're predominantly white with black. The coat can be smooth, broken, or rough. But a working terrier of great character. There goes our best of breed, Jack Russell Terrier, 9924. We now move on to the place Kerry of origin and colour of coat give us the name of this breed, the Kerry Blue Terrier. There were 47 of them here today. Interesting fact, the puppies are born black and then changed to blue at around 18 months old. This one, two-year-old female called Connie, over from Northern Ireland. And that long lean head is such a distinctive feature. The coat soft and silky to touch, the beard. In the mountains of Kerry, True characteristic as well, which gives a really wonderful expression. It still should be a compact dog and show gracefulness and power and be alert throughout. Apparently, Connie is electric with a sassy personality. I can see sass there. I, can, I think a handler can as well. <laughs> they should be upstanding and graceful. We can see that on the move there. Really interesting that the puppies are born black and they only change the breed that the water the shade of, of blue, blue when they're around about 18 months Ladies old. Gentlemen, your best of breed, Kerry Blue, tibet number 10080. And the next terrier on the table is the this breed Lakeland takes its terrier. name from the Lake Fresh District, the Lakeland Callan. Terrier. It best was developed there to run with packs of hounds one over one steep and rocky nine. hills and for that, of course, it needed the stamina, agility and a fair it's degree of courage as well to kill foxes and badgers. It has a fearless demeanour and as you can see there we've got a broad powerful muzzle. The skull is flat, refined and the neck arched muscular leading into a strong compact body. This is three year old Mac. Another over from Germany. It was that coat seven years weather later, resistant as well to help with the, the outdoor work. It would be dense and harsh with a good undercoat. And a lovely, lively trot covering the ground. We're looking again for parallel movement here, so front and light and rear legs moving. Perfect coordination, reach from the front and drive from behind. Must be dense and harsh. Mac is described as outgoing and happy. Was it pretty happy to be on the carpet of Crufts here? Come in a variety of colours, black and tan, blue and tan. Going round again, red, should have a keen wooden, expression, grizzle, lither, ability to move quickly with good drive from Their those hindquarters. Affectionate, tireless, lovable, and naughty. 
That's the best of breed, Lakeland Terrier, 10129. And like Next, many terriers which Manchester were bred for country pursuits, here we have the Manchester Terrier, which was bred to keep down rats during the Industrial Revolution. One of the key features, which hopefully we'll see in a second, is the unique thumbprint marks on the legs. It's a compact, elegant dog that's sound with some substance despite its size. It was developed from the Black and Tan Terrier, mixed with the And this is a five-year-old female, Tara. Outline is so distinctive, isn't it? The rise over it the loin and the fall to the tail. And the coat, the so important. It should be smooth, glossy, and, and the colours jet black and then rich mahogany. When it was one of the most popular of We're looking for sparkling eyes. Appeals that, that applies to most of the terriers. They should always be looking around, trying to spot some trouble to get into Finally, normally. <laughs> Keen and words and sporting. Described, Sarah's lines. described as very loving, loves to please. Dog. Always giving of her best. It's part of the breed standard, discerning and doting. On the move, we're looking for straight, free, balanced movement with the tail carried just there below the level of the back. This breed was best in show in 2005. The Norfolk Terrier used to be known as the Norwich Terrier, which we'll see in a moment. This one. Uh, with the folded ears, the drop ears, rather than being a variety of Norwich Terrier. The breeders campaigned to have it recognised as a breed of its own when it was recognised as a Norfolk Terrier in 1964. This one, pet named Boozy, which I hope isn't a habit, but a dog, three years old, from Nottinghamshire. They should be alert and fearless, these dogs. They're small, low, but they don't know, they're small, full of personality. Yeah, they're the smallest of the terrier breeds, aren't they? But the character, <laughs> you're absolutely right, is so big and should still be a dog of substance. We're looking for well-sprung ribs, plenty of lung room, strong neck, compact, short body, and the tail carried up and over the back, as we can see here. And that coat hard and wiry, straight, a little bit longer and rougher over the neck and shoulders. And as it moves towards us, we should be able to see a little bit of eyebrow and whisker hair there. Known to be great family dogs, boisterous and full of typical terrier, sometimes naughty, attitude. That's our best of breed, Norfolk Terrier, number 10196. Next we see now we have the, the pricked-eared pricked -eared variety of the terrier, the Norfolk Morgan, Terrier, separated out. So the best of breed is now we have the pricked-eared variety, the Norwich Terrier, separated from the Norfolk in 1964. Normandy, Normandy These are the smallest of the terriers, but should have great substance and character. They're allowed honourable scars, showing fair wear and tear. In she called a meeting at the Richmond Championship Dog Show. I like the fact that the breed standard the describes the Norwich Terrier as not quarrelsome. Later, but exactly what you say, honourable scars, meaning it's pretty happy to stand up for itself. Terrier Might have a scrap or two, breed. yes. So we're looking for similar features as we saw on the Norfolk, so the strong wedge-shaped muscle, slightly rounded skull, and that muscular neck that flows really cleanly into the shoulders, deep, compact body. Those hind legs should follow the tracks of the front when it's really in full motion, covering Ground well. And the coat can form a slight rough around the, the neck. Sores, it should be really hard and wiry, never soft. And foxes too, working well with the hounds. This is Bertie. The Norwich was also the good luck West mascot Sussex. for many Cambridge University students in the 1800s. That's our best of breed Norwich Terrier, number 10252. And the next terrier we see on the, the Parson table. Russell this Terrier Parson takes Russell its name terrier. from a hunting clergyman today, called Reverend John Aubrey. Russell. It's a small from and an racy breed. And uh, John Russell regarded as the founder of the breed after he bought a white-bodied terrier with his head and tail markings back in 1819. His dog was called Trump, so I had a whole legacy of sporting terriers. Seeing in the ring here, a sc uh, Scott is a dog, 23 months old, and this is his biggest win to date. He's here from Sweden to compete. We're looking for a terrier that's workmanlike, active. They should be agile, but they're not exaggerated. This isn't a showy terrier. Another which is uh, allowed to have honourable scars. So perhaps due to its boldness alongside, I was expected to be a pretty friendly nature. 
that coat again is weather resistant. It can be rough, broken or smooth. On the move, we're looking for free striding movement. So the legs moving out cleanly and covering the ground. The Parson Russell is now well Tail can be carried up as we're seeing there on the move. Scott is described as happy and outgoing. And it's come from Sweden. We now move on to the Scottish Terrier, judged today by John Hurt. The Scottish Terrier has a really distinctive and outline and solid dog. body. Number it's bred one, to go to the ground following two, Fox one. Badger and other this vermin. It used to be known as the Aberdeen Terrier, terrier because there were so many in the, the area, but in 1879 it became the Scottish as Terrier. The terrier long head, pricked ears, and a strong Scotty neck gives it an unmistakable outline. This is a really international dog, lives in both Thailand and the USA. Two and a half year old called Jasper were multiple best in shows across the world, so obviously hoping to add cruffs to that repertoire. Consequently, the breed name the beard and the eyebrows, which we'll see as he moves towards it us here they're really the key features heart. of the breed so and they're usually black character. but they can be wheaten or brindle as we're seeing sturdily built short-legged powerful this breed agile, tends to be a very loyal and faithful the breed field, as they are bold but never aggressive garden. it can be quite stubborn at times this one really nice mover they should have free the movement with plenty of drive from behind they've got really wide thighs to help earlier. power them forwards the Art Deco area that's a double coat and dense style. and wiry black brindle or wheaton the scottish terrier exhibit number one zero four two one and the next best of three to be assessed is the celium terrier Judged today by Mr. Philip There were 32 Celium Terriers here today, and this one was chosen as best of breed. It's a Welsh breed, which takes its name from the village of origin. It should be sturdy game and workman life with a punishing jaw, which it would have used when hunting vermin. The hindquarters should be really powerful, which we'll see as it starts to move off. This one dog called Oliver is four years old from County Durham. And it won reserve in the Vulnerable Breeds competition here at Crufts Originally, last year. It became a really popular breed when it was recognised by the Kennel Club in 1911, but then those, one, uh, those numbers did possible. fall away. <laughs> Doesn't want to go Paris just now. It's been a long day for these it's dogs. I think sometimes we forget they were here at 8 a.m. It's okay now. It's all right then, come on. But again, we talk about the, the maintenance of some of the breeds and the, the terriers that are on the vulnerable breed list. And, and this one, you think that coat probably does take a fair amount of maintenance. He knows where he wants to go and it's not where the handler wants him to go. But we should see a brisk and vigorous move and lots of drive. And that coat, again, really wiry, top coat. And the tail should be carried erect as it is there above the back. This is Olive, who's just over four years old. favourite of Elizabeth Taylor and Alfred Hitchcock. That's the best of breed Celium 10492. We're seeing the longest dog in this group. Next the Sky, Sky Terrier, terrier again, is on the vulnerable Stuart breed Blake, list. This one, an original terrier of the Hebrides. You might call it the ultimate ancestor because it's played a part in the, in the development of in all the terrier breeds of Scotland. One of the Spanish so Kirsty Ryan, who we're seeing in the ring here, she started out as a junior survivor, handler a uh, when she was really young dog. and now with her husband shows and owns various breeds, including the Sky Terrier. This one's been top sky for the last two years and was top puppy, uh, so really strong pedigree. Long and low to the ground with a glorious double coat. Not everyone the double knows coat should form a veiling, which as the dog moves off, you'll be able to rises. see. It looks beautiful as it, as it gets a bit of breeze under it. On offer for both so breeds. long, straight and flat, but it shouldn't ever impede the action. In we're seeing that easy Victoria movement there. I like the fact that Fergal is described as a bit of a lovable clown. The <laughs> they can have prick or dropped ears, so this one pricked eared. And as you said, the veiling, it should never stop them being able to see, so that hair needs to so be pulled popular, back. Was it that at the time of her death? There were 102 Sky Terriers entered the Manchester Championship show in 1902. Our best of breed Sky Terrier. Ladies and gentlemen, our best of breed Sky Terrier, one, number 10562. David Guy is now going to examine the soft coated wheat. A shade of ripening wheat Judge is how we describe the coat of the soft coated wheat and terrier. There were 85 of them here today, and it should be a compact, upstanding terrier that's never exaggerated. This one is actually a veteran, a seven year old dog called Hendrix. 
colour. And, and that coat, coat is a such a distinctive feature, features, isn't it? Soft and silky, loosely waved or curly. But if it is curly, then those curls should be large and loose, the as we see there. The Very upstanding and compact and breed. It's got strong sporting instincts as well, but good-tempered and spirited as well. This one's won 33 challenge certificates, 11 reserves, but he still described as Mr. Trickster and still loves to show despite all of that. 600. Next we have the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the biggest entry in today's Terrier group. So two judges, Mr. David Levy, Judge. There were 349 Staffordshire Bull Terriers, the, the biggest the entry in all these terrier breeds here at Crufts this year. Breed developed in the Black Country, the in northern parts of Birmingham and Staffordshire, area, hence the name. And of course, originates. that leather collar, it's the, the only breed shown in a collar. And bulldog to oh, oh, and just terrier deciding terrier. to leave a mark in the arena. You've got to go, you've got to go, unfortunately. You've got to go. Got to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, empathetic applause from the crowd. <laughs> You can lead a dog to the exercise area, but you can't make it go, unfortunately. As bulldog terriers. These do make wonderful family, family pets, so they're intelligent. They've got a real the tendency to be affectionate towards breed. children Such as well. Bold and fearless, zero, certainly six, not shy, five. as we just saw. Now on the table, we see the Welsh Terrier. The smart and workmanlike Welsh Terrier. This breed was once known rather clumsily as the Welsh Black and Tan Rough Coated Terrier, which they later compressed down rather sensibly. It should have a hard, wiry coat. This one, a five year old dog called Boris, here from Italy today. The Welsh Terrier is, as a breed, four time a winner of Best in Show at Crufts. The first time in 1958 and the most recent time in 1998. The description of the temperament on the breed standard is an interesting one because it's described as both happy and volatile. So work that one out, but definitely not aggressive. I think that sums up quite a few Terriers, actually. So we're looking again for straight, parallel movement, tail carried high. Best of breed, Welsh Terrier. And another one with a punishing jaw. Our final dog to be seen in this terrier This is the last is in the West Terrier group, Highland the West Highland White Terrier, White terrier winning three-time Best in Show over the course of the years, most recently in 2016. And this breed has a colonel to thank for its development, Colonel Malcolm. Bred Ken Terriers in the mid 19th century. It's one of the most popular breeds in the group, a really spirited dog. They were actually developed because the white colour was easier to see when they were working on the moors. We're looking for a slightly dome skull, heavy eyebrows, and the eye should be really dark, contrasting with the white. This one, champion and Italian champion, over from Naples, a six year old dog called Worry. A real dog of, can we say self-importance? The, the breed standard Burnham talks about it having no small amount of self-esteem, and I think we can see that right there. Combination of strength and activity. When Devon took the top spot. Ladies and gentlemen, our best of breed, West Highland White Terrier, number 11128. Now our judge has seen each of the so Terrier breeds, the which one will be going the through to best in show. On the third day of Crofts 2023, and whilst our judge David Guy takes a final look at the group in its entirety, let's so take David, this our judge, to congratulate all the of experienced all rounder, previously judged the Breeders' the Competition and the Vulnerable Breeze Finals here at Crofts. Just taking a one total quick look. Of 2,202 terriers entered today across the 27 breeds. He talks about that certain je ne sais quoi at this level. Each of these dogs is best of breed. The They're the judged against their breed standard. Making today over quarter the Staffordshire there is shown the with the head entry. facing the judge. So where's he going to go? So our judge that is first moving dog over the to be shortlisted. Where is he pointing? Out, it's the Bedlington, the Bedlington and the Border. Followed by the border then terrier. we've got the Cairn then Terrier. The, Cairn terrier. the Wire Fox Terrier. That really lovely Jack Russell. By the Wire Fox Terrier. Next we have the Jack Russell Terrier. Followed by the Lakeland Terrier. The Lakeland Terrier. 
the Norfolk Terrier. Then we've got the Norfolk and, and we've I got the Scottish Terrier. It's the so a short list of eight. Scottish Terrier. So our judge will now see there. them move so once more. Giving a quick round of applause to all of the other best degree winners who've done brilliantly to be in the group competition. So we've got our shortlist. Time now for the Bedlington Terrier. So On the move, move just 20 months old Terrier, is Daisy from the County Durham. Durham. Number so this time last year, eight, she one. was winning best puppy at Crufts and now best of breed and shortlisted in the group should have a lamb-like appearance. Moving on to second one, this the is Boots, the Border Terrier, border terrier. The three and a half year old Hughes. dog, this made it through to the finals of the Kennel Club 150th anniversary stakes earlier in this competition. And loves free running exercise, very alert. A breed that's remained remarkably unchanged for Next centuries. This is the Cairn Terrier. terrier. This one is Danny, Roberts. all the way from Canada, so making the trip really worthwhile. Zero. Should be a, a rugged Terrier, that really harsh, wiry coat. This one's really nice. The Wire the Fox Terrier, terrier Fox is three-year-old Blanca. Described a very happy Adam. little dog. And a champion dog as well. Can Blanca make it through to best in show? I love this little dog, and I think the crown do as well. This is our Jack Russell. Can you hear that? <laughs> so as we said, becoming more popular as show dogs. This one's Gatsby, three years old from Staffordshire, and was the top Jack Russell in the country last year. The next to move is the Lake, the Lake Terrier. Lake Terrier. This is Number Mac, three years Second old, described as very evening, outgoing and happy dog. A champion dog to boot as well. Judge looking for parallel movement, the tail carriage. Really alert little dog. Now we have the Next Norfolk have the Terrier. Norfolk terrier. This is Boozy, three-year-old dog. Has won 21 one challenge certificates, lots of group placing, so no stranger to this level of competition. Should be really compact dog. Lots of substance for its size. And our final dog to be moved in this lineup this evening is the Scottish Let's Terrier. Let's see our Scottish Terrier move, Number Jasper. One, oh, four, two, two and one. a half and years old. Is a wonderful house pet, but loves to show as well. And a multiple winner as well. Another champion dog. Another one who lives in two countries, so Thailand and the USA. Very it's multinational right representation <laughs> we have here. So we will have four places awarded. But of course, the winner will go through to best in show on a Sunday to join the winner of the gun dog group, the working group. And it's, and the, it's wire the wire fox, fox terrier. terrier. Number 9805. This is Blanca, three-year-old female from Croatia. Second place, we have the border the terrier. That's, <laughs> that's Boots, three and a half years old. My favorite in third, and the crowd, I think, the Jack Russell the terrier. Jack Russell terrier. And then finally, Number in fourth, we have the Bedlington. Four. Well, that's Daisy, just 20 months old, taking fourth place. But our winner. Our winner joining Orca, the Legotto, Archie, the Doberman, Blondie, the Old English Sheepdog. It's the Wire Fox Terrier. This is Blanca. These handlers are absolutely delighted. Well, we'll be able to hear from our handler in a moment. Right Honourable Sir Lindsay Hall to step forward. Blanca has travelled from Croatia. To the awards to the winner of Describes the her as a evening. happy little princess on the sheets here. Also a huge round of applause. Even for happier now, I should hope. Guy. And we hand you back down to the floor for the winner's interview, Marina. Completely unfazed, and she's taking it all in stride. Much, Kim. So it gives me a great pleasure to speak to this Terrier group. Let's have a listen in to the reaction. Really cool calm and collected hello there tell me your name tell me about your dog and where are you from my name is Juraj, and i'm from croatia the dog is bred and owned in germany oh fantastic so there's a lot of international connections yes. there yes and tell us is this your first visit to crafts um, how have you come about here have you, have you shown this one abroad 
Uh, yes, she was in America last year. She won the breed at the National. And we are every year here at Crafts for the last 15 years. And so your first group win at Crafts? Yes, yeah, last year I was second with a Lakey in the group. Oh, I see, right. So just tell me about the showmanship of this one. I mean, like I say, you look like it, it, it looks really easy. Is it really that easy to show this one? With her, yes. Come on, give me more. <laughs> no, she is really, she's a really nice girl that is giving me everything what I need for, the, for showing her, and we are very happy. Well, you are the fourth group winner at Crufts, the Terrier group winner. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Wirefox Terrier on their lap of honor.